Right, I've got another upgrade to show you here on the Myford ML7, and it's this low cost polycarbonate and alloy motor enclosure. I um, replaced the old motor on this um, Myford ML7, and the old motor was um, full of swarf. Um, which obviously gets in through these back vents and I've replaced it with this new Crompton motor which I got from um, Myford Stuff on eBay it's a half horsepower motor and it comes uh, complete with a um, forward and reverse switch which is already pre-wired so basically you only have to bolt it onto the lathe and it's ready to go and on this new motor the air vents at the back here are much larger than the old one and being so near the chuck it's very prone to actually getting swarf into the motor so having a good quality guard like this should prevent all swarf from actually getting into it so all you need to make this enclosure is three pieces of polycarbonate it's called lexan polycarbonate and i bought a4 size and it's three millimeter thick it's very strong flexible you can drill it easily without cracking and you can bend it with heat and it is actually recommended for making guards for machines and the only other thing you need is a piece of aluminium plate and a few screws and a bit of foam rubber so the first part I made was this piece here and this is just a straightforward A4 piece of polycarbonate I put it in a Black & Decker workmate and heated it up with a gas torch I did it a little bit too much there but um, that's not in view so I'm not worried about that um, use a heat gun or a gas torch and bend it over until you get the angle that suits your lathe and then that goes in between the back of the lathe there and the motor just slides in leaving an overhang which um, clears the motor well and then I use a piece of foam that I've got off of a or cut out of a old exercise mat and that one pushes down the back there in between the polycarbonate and the back of the lathe and that holds that nicely in position and also stops any vibration on the back of the lathe and you can see that it clears nicely when the handle is in its off position next i got a piece of aluminium plate it's about four millimeter thick and i had a several of these in my spare parts box um you don't need anything as complicated as this all is you need is a piece of plate with a right angle um at this end here and then i drilled a hole here put an extra long bolt that holds the motor to the platform at the back there that goes through this hole and goes on the underside of the um, motor platform and the nut and washer goes on the underside there and does up and tightens it into position you only need it held on one bolt so while this aluminium piece is bolted on the underside like that I got another A4 piece of polycarbonate and shaped this curve to meet the front piece on a disc sander and got a nice fit all the way down hardly any gap at all and then I held it onto the aluminium and drilled two holes for 4BA um, taps and then took it off tapped those holes used a plastic um, washer under the 4BA brass screws and screwed it on and to finish off I cut the last A4 piece of um, polycarbonate down to size 
to fit the top I used a couple of small aluminium right angled brackets um, mounted those on the inside um, these have a bit of a slot in them so I can move them up and down and move them up so that they were level and the top comes down on top of those nicely and then used 4BA screws drilled that for that and um, bolted it all together and then I made a, a fold over brass clip that slides onto the top there and you put that over the two so it's over this piece here and the top here at the back and push it on like that and that holds the two nice and firmly together and if you want to you can put a bit of gaffer tape down there to seal that up completely and if there's any discrepancies in the um, curve on the front there if there's any slight gaps you can actually use um, draft excluder tape um, stuck on the front one just down so it meets this one down that curve and that will seal up any um, gaps so what I like about this job is it's fully um, guarding the motor from swarf and dirt but I can just quickly pull this piece of foam out, pull that um, front one out and undo the nut on the underside of the back here and the whole guard comes off. Also, although the motor is fully enclosed from this side here, the back here is fully open and this side here, which allows the air to be drawn through the motor there's plenty of room between this panel here and the back air vents on the motor so the air will circulate properly and the motor will not overheat plus the whole upgrade cost me less than £10 to make So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to, you can actually trim that piece off there and make that level. Um, but I'm going to leave mine like it is at the moment.